Hello everyone. We have talked about animation generated with Stable Diffusion's Animate Diff and SVD. We have also talked about AI music generators previously. In this video, I want to talk about another method that we can create music videos with whatever tools we have on our local PC. But before that, let's be patient and check out this tool because it inspired the following workflow for creating music videos. So this noisy AI, it's kind of like creating music videos using AI models. And wow, when I saw their introduction videos on this website, I felt like, wow, is that really something that we can type a text prompt and it will generate the music video for us? And the quality of that, look at this girl. It looks like AI generates very good consistency, like you saw in the AI model Sora. But when I go to their Discord, hit this button, try noisy AI. You see, I'm kind of disappointed about this stuff. Like, remember back in the days in the year 2000 when all the social medias were booming in the market? And eventually, there were a lot of little apps doing social media aggregators, you know, people connecting Facebook API and Twitter API, and then they tried to mash up that data together in those apps, right? And eventually, where are those apps right now? They're gone, right? Mostly, they are not existing anymore. And I'm seeing that, you know... The AI industry right now is starting to see this kind of stuff because when you look at their Discord right now, you can really see they are mashing up different AI models. They are not actually doing their own training models or creating a workflow using everything from their company to do that, except for this one, this Generate Clips channel. So when you type some prompts here, for example, my example right here, I typed a text prompt saying robot dancing in disco and eventually, I received this generated result, and very obviously, it looks like something coming from Stable Video Diffusion's output. I can't say 100% it's from SVD, but it's something with that kind of style. And when I click other generated results from other users, it kind of feels like that as well. And you know those very famous deformed hands from SVD and Pico Labs older versions? You see those kinds of artifacts from diffusion models doing that because they don't have enough unit context size to generate consistent hands and fingers around the videos. And that is happening in this AI model or what they are calling this Discord server. And look at this one. It's just a camera panning, something that I feel boring in AI video generated results because there's nothing the AI model is actually doing. And you know, it's really kind of disappointing for me when I see their website. I was kind of excited, like, wow, this is so realistic. You see this woman floating on the water and very consistent and stuff like that. But then when I click into their Discord, and now let's check out their Generate MV, which is what they are marketing so hyped about creating music videos using AI. But then when you see this kind of stuff, it feels like garbage because yeah, let's be honest, I can say this is like garbage because this, the music of these videos is not generated by this Discord, first of all, and it has to be provided by the users. So for example, this user is getting the links from Zuno, from maybe this user generating another music clip in Zuno, and then he referenced a link for this Discord bot to capture those music, mp3 files, whatever it is, and like this one, also capturing the music URL from Udio and using that music file to generate each scene with. They also have bracketed some timeline in here for the one minute mark and whatever it did. And this guy put the lyrics in here and you know, overall, every generated scene from this Discord bot, I cannot say this is an AI model. This is a Discord bot that is maybe controlling some other diffusion model. Maybe they have SVD behind that and running that workflow and generating each scene and putting that output into one video file and pulling it back to the users as the response. Because first of all, the lyrics and the video content do not match. Basically, it is... Look at this one. The lyrics in here are, close your eyes, baby. And you know, these lyrics should be doing something about love or somebody that you care about. But when the generated result is like, it doesn't make sense. What, what happened to the street in here and all the graffiti is not about the gangster, right? And what happened to do the space here? It doesn't do something about space with these lyrics, right? So if you are doing music videos, 
you have to, you know, we all see music videos a lot, right? Like you listen to the song and maybe the singer has a role, a B role, where the singer comes and does the background story of the music or the songs. Something is happening in the B roll, something like that. But in here, it does not do anything to represent that. And that is clearly just based on what the users are providing in these keywords. And the AI is separating each keyword line and putting that into a text prompt and generating each scene from the text prompt. So when it says falling down, there are some skies falling atmosphere in this scene, something like that. So I can say it's totally garbage. I was trying to review this noisy AI and hope this was good when I saw their website. But, you know, I just cannot believe that it was coming from the music that users are providing in here, a YouTube link, and it's just using whatever it has in this YouTube content and generating some scenes that look like stable diffusion, stable video diffusion like styles, and stitching it back together. It's, you know, not impressive for me to see something like that and because it's kind of a loss of misunderstanding when you see from their website here you say turn your favorite melody into music videos i thought it was going to be something that they can generate the music for me or use the music that i have and turn it into like a stunning music video actually it's you know, something music videos should do rather than putting all the cut scenes of the camera panning like that and stitching all these scenes together and looking like that is a music video, right? So I would say, forget this one and let's go make our own workflow in Comfy UI. We can do something similar or even better locally, more control on the video content we want to generate. And we can even create a character for the stories of the music videos. So let's get started in here. Okay, so I'm going to use an existing workflow that I built previously and have talked about in a video tutorial on my channel before. And I have this one. As you guys remember, there's a large language model working on the content and transforming it to stable diffusions text prompts, creating scenes. So therefore, we can use that for stable video diffusion and create some motion animations with that and I will be just restricting this to under three seconds, four seconds length for each scene. I don't want too much of that because that's gonna be in the music videos B-roll, you know, showing the stories of what happened that is related to the music and the lyrics. And also I'm going to use the Stable Diffusion's anime diff video to video workflow that I have built recently. And I'm using differential diffusion to create styles from IP adapter and the reference source videos. As you guys saw some of my recent videos on YouTube Shorts. And you guys can check out videos in the previous tutorial here. So check out the one that uses Llama 3 to interact with stable diffusion. We create something like that with this one. And this is the workflow that is in that video. And also we have this video for differential diffusion's latent noise. That's the workflow coming from here, but then I modified that right now. There's like an updated version of that. So basically, it's enabled you change the character and also the backgrounds of that. Just like previously, we have did the Rave Plus Animate Diff workflow, but then that one was consuming too much processing memory and power. So therefore, I have cut it down and rebuilt that to this lightweight version of an Animate Diff workflow. But then also, this is similar to the workflow that I have submitted contests on the previously on OpenArt. And uh, yeah, so we are going to use these two workflows and build something with, you know, doing the music video animations. And we are going to use Suno AI for creating music. Now I have one already generated right here. And previously I have another video talking about AI music generation that was with Udio. And I found out that this is pretty fun to play with. But if you are, you know, creating music with way better quality songs, Suno did better in that one rather than funny music and all those soundtracks. Udio is a winner for me as funny soundtrack generator. So this is the song that I'm going to make into a music video. And let's check out how the music sounds. i 
Okay, so that is the music that I just generated in Zuno AI. So it's about an R&B style song and it is focused on the sadness of a long distance love. So I can, you know, see what kind of things that we can put in the emotions for the visuals of this song and we can play around with that. So again, I am in the art list and from my subscriptions, I have downloaded some people singing. So some singing scenes that represent like the A role of the singer. And I'm going to use all these video clips. And that will be run through the video to video stable diffusion animations workflow. And that will be transforming it to another style look. And maybe we just only need the open pose to do the pose of the characters moving, how the motions and everything are going to be reskinned into other styles. And also, we are going to use stable video diffusion to create the love story scenes for the B-roll. And that is going to be creating prompts using Llama 3. And we are going to bring the lyrics and transform it, maybe with ChatGPT or any large language model, to make these lyrics into stories and more descriptive stories of each scene. And then we can bring all that content into the large language model here. And we are going to connect with Llama using the fine-tuned Llama 3 models to get the stable diffusion prompts. And then we will generate each scene into an image and let it run as video diffusion for the motion graphics. And we've got to combine the A roll and B roll together at last in CapCut. So that will be a very easy, simple way to do video editing in CapCut. And we can start there. So let me generate all the scenes in here in Animate Diff. And then we are coming back later. All right, so we have all the videos using anime diff and generating newer style video scenes for all the singing A roll. So I am having all the same scenes previously I downloaded. Looks like I have the library in here. So here we have all the scenes downloaded and processed with another newer style with, you know, an AI singer. And we can continue with the other B-roll scenes, which is going to happen in SVD. So I'm going to use Stable Video Diffusion to create the B-roll scenes, and that is also taking my content from Llama 3. So I have my Llama 3 here. So right here, I have told the AI large language model to be creative and write scene descriptions for the following song that I wrote with the lyrics. You are going to describe each scene for the music video. So I pasted the lyrics here and I got all the descriptions for that and that is good enough for me to create the stories with stable video diffusion because I have the AI prompts. And using that to connect with my local Llama, I'm going to use my local installed Llama 3 fine-tuned model and that is going to generate each scene for me here. And if you want to check out how to use the large language models connecting with Stable Diffusion in Comfy UI, check out the video that I mentioned, link in the description below. So I'm going to fast forward this part and I'm going to bring all this content into Comfy UI. Once I generate all the scenes for the music video, then I'll bring it to CapCut and we'll start importing that and editing each scene with the music itself. So I will fast forward this part because CapCut is very easy. You don't need tutorials to do that, I believe. Okay, so everything is finished recording. And check this out. It looks okay. Some of the scenes I cannot use because some, like this is deformed. I have not monitoring that while the stable video diffusion was generating. I just batch input all the scenes and batch generated. So after all the results in here, and I filtered which ones are okay to be used, and some of them are not good. Like this one is not good to be used, the character is deformed, and this one was good, but then in this second scene here it's not good. So we have to give up some scenes here. So there you go. This is the video. Let's check it out. Under the 
So, yeah, it's pretty easy to just, you know, put all the scenes back together and put your AI music in. And there you go, you got your own even better quality than just generated in the noisy AI models. Because you got more control over how the scenes are arranged, whatever effects you want to put, and the transitions between each video clip here. And, yeah, something that will be improved if I put more time in and if I can you know, do more research on how to get better lip syncing. And I will be putting like this part where the A roll cuts into the singer, the mouth, this part, I will be using lip sync if I have time to do that. And also like this part, if the music is going to be synced with the singer right here, then that will be even better. So yeah, this method by using stable video diffusion and animate diff combining together and using any AI music generator, you don't have to just use the Zuno AI or Uno, whatever you prefer, that is your desire, your business, it doesn't matter. You know, some people argue, oh, that one's better music, this one's better. I mean, who cares, right? If you prefer that one, then use that one. So that is it for this tutorial on how to create AI music videos that are better than something you see here. I mean, you got nothing to control, just very plain keywords and, you know, try to have some luck generating something that is going to be matched with the music that you uploaded. I mean, that is not something that I want if I do a music video, right? So that is it for this video. And I hope you guys get some inspiration. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.